So basically we had to redo some oil lines for our oil sending unit because this block's a little different than the other block. So we had to make some different lines, make a bracket. It's always something with these. They're never always the same, that's for sure. All right, and then right here, we have Chase putting the P-pump on it, which is probably easier if one guy's doing it than two. That's a heavy, that's a heavy piece of uh, machinery right there that's going on actually. But you need the nuts, Chase, or you got them? Um, I need them still, but it'll go on without it. Okay, so what we're doing is um, this right here is like a small unit itself. The, uh, the twin turbo setup on this thing is heavy, it's awkward, and it's a lot easier to just take off the head by the exhaust manifold rather than taking everything apart. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna get it up there, put a couple of bolts in to hold it to the head. And um, that way I can build my uh, drain for my turbo drains. Um, on my old block, on the block, it had provisions for two drains for the uh, turbos. This one only has one. So I'm gonna have to fab something to make it work. So I wanna put it on there right now so I can start putting this all together. This might come back off when we set the valve lash on it. But right now I'm just gonna set it on there so I can build the, uh, build the turbo drain. So you'll see it start to come together. This is, this is like the icing on the cake for the D-Rod. This is what it's known for is these twin turbos that are sticking out through the middle of it. And um, this is where it all began right here. Let's check it out. Okay, so right now, one of my big things that I gotta figure out is before on these drains off the turbos, there was two provisions. They had one here and there's one here on another on the other block. This is an older uh, 12 valve block. So as you can see, it's only got one. The, this typically would go into here if it was a single turbo, it would go in there and go right to the turbo. But now what I gotta do is figure out how to put these two together this goes to the big turbo right here. This one goes to the small turbo here. And I got to wire them together into that hole right there. So that's one of the things that I got to come up with. Also, um, you know, we're going to make sure that um, this is temporary, just sitting here. Um, it's only got two bolts holding it on because I have to come back and rerun the valves on this thing later. Um, we still got to torque down the front balancer and a few other things, but it's coming along. I figure one more day, I should be able to get radiator, front grill shell, valve cover on it, get it timed, uh, get the valve lash set, and fire this thing up and be ready to roll. So it's coming along, it's looking good. Okay, so this is what we're doing right now. This is your turbo drain right here that goes into your back into your oil pan. So whatever's left over from the turbo, when you're, that basically lubricates the turbo, the oil will come down and fall back into the engine block. Um, this up here is your main feed. So this is what's continuously putting oil pressure in your turbo. And then whatever's left over is gonna come down through here and, and go into the oil pan. Now there's two of these on the other block. As I explained, there's one back here and one here. This only has one. So what we're doing is we're taking this, this old piece that is gonna go inside of here. All right, now our problem is, is I'm making this piece right here. This is just a piece I found on the XDP uh, rack that I have over there with just a bunch of parts. And I drilled a hole in it right here. And then I'm gonna TIG weld this on like that. That way I got both drains, draining back into one. So, so what I got laying around, so I'm gonna use it to do it. 